It was Christmas season on the island of Soda, and industries such as the mines, quarries, branch line services, apart from a few, and even the Soda China clay pits are closed for the holidays. But this winter was different. The clay pits were open due in this season because the clay pits had a huge order before Christmas Eve, so the pits were full to the brim with orders. <sighs> Good morning, Bill. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thanks. What have you got to tell us today? I actually came to give some... Who are you talking to, Bill? You're going crazy in the smoke box. Oh, hi, sir. As I was just about to say to Bill, the clay pits will be busy till Christmas Eve. You will be having some help, though. Who? Stanley. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. <laughs> <laughs> this will, this be, will fun. be fun. I can't wait to see Stanley again. Hello, is anybody here? Bill? Ben? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm going too fast. Help! Huh? Stanley, look out! Whoa, slow down. Ah. My guess is Bill and Ben. Yep. You trucks, get moving. Stop holding back. Hold back! back. Hold, Hold back! back. Uh. We're we it away! We! We better chase after them. Great, I've run out of water. Huh? What? A runaway train? Ben! Watch out! Bust my buffers! Are you okay, Timothy? No! Ow! I am so sorry, my trucks broke away. Later that afternoon, James came to take Timothy to the works. I'm needed back at Natford, so bye, Marion. Bye, Stanley. Bye. Ugh, this is too much work. How does Timothy deal with this? I said it. If we weren't responsible, Timothy would still be with us. We? What do you mean, we? You got yourself stuck. Ugh. Later that night, Bill and Ben were still arguing. Soon Marion had enough. Will you two just be quiet for five minutes? Yes, 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 Marion. When Marion fell asleep, these twins stayed up. I wish Timothy would 
we do hold Timothy's back for Christmas in time. Soon Bill and Ben fell asleep, hoping for their wish to come true. For the next few days, they got on with their work done without a fuss and met the timetables, but they were still sad about Timothy. It was Christmas Eve and they were complaining. It's not fair, Ben. He won't be able to make it to the party in time due to the shipments for the clay pits. Yeah, I do also find it not nice, to be honest. But the manager did say this was going to happen. What are you moaning about now? I'm not saying they're going to enjoy the Christmas party. I'm just saying due to our, you know, our deadlines, right, and Timothy and all, we won't be able to make it to the party in time. I'll take the trains out tonight so you can rest. Okay, Edward. Later that evening, the twins finished their work for the day. And they went to their shed to sleep. But unknown to them, they would have a big surprise the very next day. Ah! ah! <laughs> Merry Christmas to you too! Ooh, what's going Ooh, pretty. How? Just how? When I left in my office last night, I saw Edward and spoke to him, and he told me about the party. And I also heard from the workmen that you were missing Timothy. So Edward and I discussed a plan to bring Christmas here. And I have one more present. Is that? It's a miss. It, it can't be. Timothy! Timothy! We're so sorry, Timothy. We never meant for you to get hurt. We're sorry we don't appreciate your work here, yeah, Timothy. We're really sorry. Thanks for the apology, you two. I hope you two will not be playing any more dangerous tricks. That can cause chaos. Yes, yes Edward. Edward. Cheer up, guys. It's Christmas. Let's enjoy each other's company. I think we should sing a Christmas song. Great idea, Marion. Really? We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.